Hello everybody, this is Milad. I'm here today with another tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to create a web template, something like QR of websites. It's not going to be really exactly like this, but we've tried to make it really similar. And the point here is that we want to utilize HTML, CSS and Bootstrap to create something like this. Okay, let's quickly start coding and here actually i'm using wsl which is windows linux subsystem uh, a linux subsystem in windows so but it doesn't matter where you code it doesn't matter if it's linux or windows uh, the only thing you need to have to start coding is a simple really simple notepad or or ide now let's create a folder for our project we should go to so here I'm going to create another folder called because I've already created a template something like Quora uh, basically it, it takes a lot of time to make it complete and well we don't have enough time in a video like this so I've done it before and I just try to remember things and do the exactly thing I've done before. Make the RR grow page example. Here and as an idea, I'm going to use VS Code, Visual Studio Code, which is a really great and famous uh, IDE. Uh, but you can use a very simple Notepad or uh, you know text uh, text editor for this purpose. Doesn't matter what IDE you use. Code dot open it. Okay, now let's create all the files we need for the project. First of all, we need main or index.html. Also, we need a CSS file. We call it main CSS. And also, we need a folder for you know, storing all the images and data we want. Okay, that's it. So let's start with the basic template we have for, for Bootstrap and you can grab the basic template from the website of Bootstrap. So say Bootstrap 5, we go to the main page and here in the introduction section we have a starter template and the only thing we need to do is just grab this and copy paste it here okay that's fine as soon as you paste it here uh well actually i need to paste it in index html as soon as you copy the code here well uh it's ready to use there's nothing else you need to do. So let me refresh around the browser and refresh the page. So here I'm going to use live server for this purpose. And you can see that we have Bootstrap ready. Now let's look at the Quero website. And the very first thing we see here is the nav bar. And it's really easy to implement navbar using Bootstrap. So let's look at the documentation and see how we can utilize 
nav bar in Bootstrap. So I search for nav bar. Yeah, here. So we have all sorts of nav bars here, and we are looking actually for a responsive one. So we have this. This is the complete nav bar. We want to have a simpler one. Uh, maybe. So basically here we have the logo. So the very first element we want to have in the navbar is a navbar brand. So let me just grab this one and complete it from here. Copy. And basically you can use any navbar you want and the only thing you need to do is just uh, copy the code and paste it in your code. Let me just do it as an example. For example, here uh, in the body after a script here. Let's refresh it. Now we have a really nice navbar. Just get rid of the title fresh again now here we have an hour and, and i believe it's responsive let's zoom in yeah you see as soon as it gets uh bigger we have it it turns into a hamburger menu like this and it's great but we don't want to have something like this and we want to build our navbar from scratch somehow you know so just grab the simple one which is this is good i believe let me copy this get rid of this one paste it here okay Let's look at that. Well, seems that something's wrong. Well, we don't have this image. And if we have a logo, we can replace it with a logo. But here, basically, we just want to use a uh, text instead of a logo. So I uh, just want to remove this. And here, let's say a span say Cura. Now I just change the name for copyright issues. And here basically we're trying to just use Cura templates for learning purposes, nothing more. We don't want to create another Cura website, so that won't be an issue, but just, you know, avoiding this stuff. Uh, doesn't matter. Let's save it. Look at the result. So it looks like this, the, on, the only thing we have in the nav or is the logo. And we're going to add all the elements step by step. Now let's look at the nav bar once more. And here you can see the background color is white. Uh, here we have a bottom, uh, we have a border at the bottom of the nav bar. Also there is a really nice space between the beginning of the page and the logo. And also a really nice space between you know, the last item and the end of the screen. So let's apply these changes. Here. Uh, so the first thing is that I want to have now bar light, but I want to, to get rid of the, you know, background color and to have it white just get rid of this class add border bottom uh, also i want to add some padding and padding at start just look at the result so looks good let me 
uh, get rid of the padding here. Well, it's better. It looks better. And maybe it's better to change. If I change it to one, we will be have something like this. But let's keep it. Also, to have a responsive navbar, I should add navbar expand dash md. At the medium level, it will expand the navbar. Expand. The if I zoom in, well, because we don't have any other elements here, it doesn't make a difference. But as soon as we add other elements here, we can see the change. And here also, let's get rid of the container fluid. Let, let me do something. BG warning. If I add a background to this class, if I refresh, you can see that this is the container we have for the nav bar. If I get rid of this padding here, refresh again, as you can see, it covers the entire row. So to have it narrower, the only thing we need to do is just change container flow to container. Let's refresh. Looks good. And to have a little bit more you know, space, we add some padding at the start. Now if I refresh, we'll see like this. Let's get rid of the BG warning background. Now let's add some class to the logo. Here, uh, well, you have a limited number of colors in Bootstrap and to have your own custom, you need to add them yourself in your CSS file. So here I say that we want to have a new background uh, text color actually so text main color i want to make the font bold and also having the font size of three let's look at the result it looks good enough now in the main.css let's define our new class what I'm gonna do here is actually I want to use CSS variables. You can define variables like this. So the first thing I want to have is a main color. Uh, it's better to be like this. I want to have a main color darker as well. Let's another add another color here, white. That's enough for now. Add text main color here. Have color. I want to use the main color we have as the variable. Now to make the CSS work, we need to add it to our main uh, index.html file. And it's pretty simple to add a new style sheet. Which is, let's copy this one. Say main CSS. Get rid of the rest of the attributes. And that should work. Let's see, let me refresh it. 
Well, it worked. Okay. The next thing we want to have in the navbar is actually the hamburger button, which is used when you zoom in and when all the elements get truncated together into the hamburger menu, you need to show a button. Now let's get back to the documentation to see how we can add the hamburger button. Uh, so this is the button, we can just copy this, paste it in our code. Good. And now we need to add the actual menu. Add a class to this. And keep this in mind that this is the way that Bootstrap works. And just to understand it, you need to go to the documentation and learn how to use it. Collapse. And it should be always like this. There is no other way. And also we want FID. Basically it's exactly like what we have here. Let me just copy this. There's no need to write it down again. Okay, now let's copy this to see if it works fine. Here, let's refresh. Nothing's happened. And the problem is that we actually we need to put this in the container. Let's grab this and put it here next to the brand. Okay, let's refresh. Okay, it looks good. If I zoom in, you can see that it turns into the hamburger menu. Now let's take the next step, which is actually adding all the elements we want to the menu. Uh, let me get rid of this. Let's keep the first one and get rid of the others. Okay, good. Now we have an item here. Let's look at the website here. Okay. So we want to have the items, the button, the icons in red, and also we want to have, and also we want to have a border at the bottom for the first item. So here, uh, let me to add a new class called border main color. And for this, here I want to have main border main color. I want to say that I want to have border at the bottom. You can add border with bootstrap, but it's not really flexible as much as we want. So we just need to add what we want ourselves. Peaks. And we want to use the main color we already have. Okay. Let me see the result. Good. Get rid of active. Also get rid of this. And here instead of text, we want to add an icon. And to do that, 
there is multiple ways to do that. You just you can just grab a PNG or JPEG file from from the internet, or you can use SVG files. You can use phones. Uh, there is all sorts of ways to do that, and we're going to try some of them. So for the first way, we're going to use Google Materials icon. Google Materials icon. And this one here. Go to resources. Material icons. And here you can look for any icon you want. So for instance here I want to say home. Okay, it's good. So here we can use the PNG or SVG, or also we can use this uh, as a font. But the best way for us is actually using a SVG. It's easier at this point. Just download it and open it. Notepad, copy this Fiji, paste it here. And the reason, the reason for this is actually, uh, it's easier to change the color this way. So here I can say that fill with current color, which actually gets the parent's color as the main color for this icon. Let's refresh. And now let's add the color we want, which is text main color. Fresh again, and it worked. But as you can see, there is a problem. Actually, we have a space between the logo and the icon here. So let's look at the code and understand what the problem is. Uh, well, I believe these elements are not in the main container and often have bar. So let's grab this and put it here in the container. Fresh again and see, yeah, it's good. So let's add the other links and icons we want. Exactly like this. Okay, now let's find the suitable icon we want for this. We can search for menu or something like that. Uh, but it's not going to be exactly like that. Doesn't matter. Just grab one of these. It's good. Good enough. We don't want to waste time on actually finding the right icon. Copy. Paste it here again. And add the fill
try it once more. Uh, search for pen something like that uh, let's use one of these let's use this one okay let's look at the code Let's look at the result. Okay. Something's wrong here. Oh, actually, I need to get rid of this. Uh, now it looks good and here let's get rid of the border class we don't want it for the other items looks like this let's add the other icons as well Group. It's good. New page source. Look for Bell. Look at the source. Paste it here. Okay, let's look at the result and hear what we have. But it seems that there is a problem. Oh, the problem is that the A tag is missing. Actually, the close end tag is missing, and we need, just need to copy that, paste it for other. A tag and this one. 
Okay, now it looks good. Now let's make the, make the icons smaller. And to do that, uh, you need to... Let me close all these tabs. We don't need them. So the first thing is that you need to define a view box. Zero, zero, fifty. And copy this for all the other. elements. Let's get rid of this weed and it's better to add it with you know CSS. It's more flexible to do that with CSS. Okay let's add it with CSS. Uh, say that for nav item and speed basically for the speed in the nav item Change the width to two and four. Also, same for height. No. Let's refresh it. Okay, something's wrong. Let me. Uh, is this refresh? Okay, this is what we have. We want it. We want it to be bigger. So let's change it to 45 pixels. Fresh. Uh, make it a little bit smaller. And this. Let's add some padding. Maybe. Okay. We did a little bit padding. It looks good. I believe it. It's good enough for now. Just leave it as it is. So the next step is actually adding this little uh, notification or sequence. Here we have we have something like this called uh, badges in Bootstrap 5. So let's look for it. Badges. And we have all sorts of badges. We can use this one. We can we have, we can use something like this. And this is, I believe, what we want to have here. So the only thing we need to do is just copy this and paste it for the for the second one. And let's try to modify it a little bit to make it similar to what we want. First thing that I'm going to get rid of the button. I don't need it. The span. And let's wrap it with another span. And here for for the parent span, I wanna add some classes. 
I want to say position relative and also margin auto. Let's first of all get rid of this to see what it looks like and then we can get back here and add these classes. Let's just look at the result. Okay, as you can see, the badge is here. So to fix it, we add position relative, refresh, and now here we have the badge. Let's also margin and auto and the problem is that we need to put this next to this VG inside the A tags okay let's refresh and this is what we have you know uh, it's pretty actually like this now change this padding to one fresh C yeah it makes it a little bit smaller now in order to make it closer a little bit to the icon we need to well let's change it to 50 fresh and to make it work actually we need to change the parent span and use it like this so now inside this span which is positive uh, position re relative we have this Fiji and also the badge we want and now let's try once more now the badge is at the middle of the icon Just to move it we need to use some margin margin start three fresh let's get two it's good i believe it looks good enough now let's add the other badge for this icon let's see what we have here so we want to have something like this so uh, let me to grab this piece of code and put it here next to the Svigi and also let's at the parent okay let's see the result good enough I think we actually can change it to 80 or actually to 50 and use some margin at the start to two three is better okay that's good we have also the same badge for this bell icon here so let me just grab this place it here and 
and replace it with the actual SVG. What happened? Something's wrong. Yo, you need to replace it with this. Okay. Now let's look at the result. Uh, oops, we want this actually. For the last item, okay. Fresh, yeah. Okay, good enough. Actually, we can work on the details and make it smaller, but that's good. Uh, okay, now the next thing. I believe we need to work on is this search field actually and also adding some other elements like this button and some logos okay uh, let's add this as quickly as possible and I'm gonna do it let me close this UL tag and here next to the UL least I want to add another field called uh, actually it's of form type Form control to search icon. Type search. Place holder. It's not necessary. Okay, that's fine. Let's see the result. Okay, this is what we have. But we need to add this little icon of searching. So what we need to do, what we need to do is defining this search icon here I already placed. So let's go to the main that CSS in here. I want to say that search icon. And first of all, I want to add some padding to the left side. And also we want to change the background to have PNG as the background. So we need to download the necessary uh, icon we want and uh, just leave it as it is leave it empty and no repeat left and also I want to say background size be 20 pixels so let's download the PNG we want for the search icon let's use google phones for this purpose here i look for search this is good let's download the png this time instead of using svg and now the only thing you need to do just grab it and place it on the src folder and change it to search okay 
Now here under SRC, let's say search. Let's look at the results. And here we have the icon we want. I believe we need a little bit padding or margin between the search field and the last icon of the list. So let's place it in uh, maybe we can do it with bootstrap itself. So margin the start to make it Four would be good, I believe. Okay, that's fine. Now it's time to add the other button. I'm going to use button tag here, class. BTN, BTN, I'm going to use classes for button. We already have in Bootstrap. So let's look at the result to see what we have. Try Quora Plus. Uh, okay, it it looks like this. We need to modify it a little bit. So let's add rounded peel to have a rounded rectangle. Also, we need to have border. Size of one, I believe. One, make the phone size six. I want to have the text in gray, so we use text muted in Bootstrap. Also, I wanted to make the font bold and also add some padding at y direction. Now let's see the output so this is what we have here and this is the original one it's pretty similar you can work on the details actually but it looks good enough i believe okay let's add the profile button So first of all, we want to have a really small list. So I'm going to use UL and with the class of navbar, actually. And here the first element would be the profile button. So I'm going to use item. nav item nav link I want to use rounded circle and we need to download an image for that so I'm going to call it profile JPEG let's download an image a great website for downloading free images is 
on a splash so we want to look for face it's a good one let's download it and put it on put it in src folder change the name to profile now let's refresh the page okay something's wrong here well uh actually i already used profile class but we haven't defined it yet so let's define a profile class i forgot that in profile class let's define a bit of the image height 45 pigs padding 70 pigs okay good let's refresh let's change it to 45 refresh again okay it looks good enough i think okay the next thing here we have is another icon pretty similar to the previous one so let's copy what we have here and instead of using png let's use svg so let's search for or you can use the png doesn't matter both should work but let me to use a globe This one, page source, copy, paste it here. And as the class, I want to change it to text muted to make the color gray. we want the same settings as before we can grab it from here copy and put it here now let's look at the result what we have okay this is what we have I mean it's pretty much like what we want let me change the size to 48 fresh now it's better i think okay you can work on the details but that's enough for now i believe Now it's time to add this add question button. And for this purpose, we're going to first of all using a group button in Bootstrap. And also, we want to have a drop down menu. So, if you want to have something like that, you can search for drop down menu in Bootstrap documentation. and do some modification to achieve the result you want 
So we have all sorts of drop down menus like this. And most of them share similar classes. But I already know what I should do, so let's get back to code and start coding. Class BTN group. Also to have, you know, here we have basically we have two buttons here. So to have this style uh, in Bootstrap, you need to search for button group. And here you can see that it gives you the ability to implement all sorts of uh, group buttons. And also, as you can see, we uh, it already has the you know drop down menu in combination with a group button. Okay, adding the first button, I'm gonna call it button one because we need to do a little bit modification with CSS. class btn btn small I want to have bg main color as the background we need to define it ourselves make the font bold with bootstrap want to have text light and let's call it at question we need another button I'm gonna call it button 2 type button class btn BTN small, BG main color, and we want to make it to be drop down, actually drop down button, so we call it drop down toggle, drop down toggle split, and this is based on the Bootstrap documentation actually. This is the sort of thing that you don't, you, you shouldn't ask, and you just need to follow the instructions. Expanded faults. Now, as the text of the button, we want to have class visually hidden toggle drop down. Let's look at the result to see what we have. Fresh, and this is what we have. Now let's define the classes we want. Go to main.css and here first button Let's set the border, border bottom lift radius as well. Uh, I believe it's better to define a variable, so I'm gonna call it drop down radius, 
copy this and put it here set it as 50 pigs is good I think also set border top left radius now let's work on the button 2 border bottom right radius border top right radius border left style solid border left color RGB 383 border width pixel color white okay Now let's define main BG background. BG main color has background color. main color refresh okay well it seems that there is a problem with the text color so let's find a problem uh, we already assigned text light Let's look at the so here perhaps better to change the color to white for instance. Fresh it. Okay, it worked. Good. It's pretty similar. I believe the nav bar is completed now. Well, the next thing is actually adding the uh, items to the drop-down menus. So let's get back to the menu we have here. And inside this div, I want to add a list with the class of drop-down. menu add a bunch of items here action for example with you want to have a tag surrounding the action with the class of drop down item we have no idea about the link at this point so we'll leave it as this we want another item called another action
and add another and that's good look at the result refresh and you can see that now we have all the items we want so uh, here we have only one item so maybe we want to change it to you know the actual item uh, we have already in the original template okay now that the navbar has been completed it's time to work on the main part of the template which is actually the main section of feet and also the ref and light menus so let's start working on these stuff okay let's start from here after the nav tags let's create another div with bg light and also a little bit padding at top at the top about four also another div as our container container with a little bit margin at the bottom good let's see the result main body and fresh well this is our main body now here let's have another div as a row and in this row we will have three things the first thing is the left toolbar the main body and the right toolbar left list with the class of call we want to make it as the flex and basically with flex you have the ability to arrange items horizontally or vertically so if we look at the core itself we can see that we have a list here the first item is something like this so let's create this one I'm gonna use a tag here with the class of bg second color and we need to define this class we don't have it already so add a link and here inside these a tags I want to have a class rounded plus sign and also another span with uh, let, let's we don't need class for this right now so just we want to say create space something like this let's look at the view okay this is what we have let's modify it with BG second color class. Let's define it. Background. Let's use RGB instead of a variable. at the result this is what we have now let's add some uh, CSS code for left list uh, elements so let's say left list first of all I'm gonna give a margin of 20 pixels to the left side 
and also left list for the a tags I want to have text decoration as none adding some padding about five pixels having the color as gray is good and make the font size about 13 pixels good okay let's see the result this is what we have it look it looks good enough i think yep now let's add other items to the lift list in here we want to have something like this with a tag we want to use an image tag source C let's download some image for this section span and the name of the space for example PhD advice half something like that now we need some images so let's go to unsplash download it here space one of these is good download it drag and drop it on the resource folder change the name to something like pick one and now now we need to do a little bit modification for the left list image to make it look good change the width to 20 pixels change the height to 20 pixels as well having the border radius as 5 pixels is good now it's time to look at the result fresh okay this is what we have now we need to add a circle at the top of the icon so let's add it it's pretty similar to what we had in the nav bar good i'm going to do it in the html here let's first make a copy of this because i wanted to wrap it with span with the class of position relative position relative I want to change the margin to auto okay now here and another spam with the class of position absolute top zero start the translate middle margin at start two padding one I'm gonna make it BG danger with border border light and rounded circle and then the wristband you can actually copy this from the bootstrap documentation it's it's nothing really special 
that you need to learn or do. You, you just need to copy this. Because I already know what to type. I already tried all the different possibilities. I know what I want. But if you have no idea what you should do, the only thing you need to do is just go to the documentation, see all the examples, and just grab one of those. And that will be all. New arts. Okay. Let's see the result. See what we have. Just something's wrong here. Uh, oh, we need to actually move this class here. We want to have it above the image, not the whole button. So move this to the end and no it's a little bit messy but after I finish I'll explain it okay so the parent tag is is a tag actually and uh, the whole button actually is a link and in the button we have it we have an image and also a text but above the image at the top of the image we want to have a red circle so uh, we use a span parent with position relative class and inside that we want to have the image and also the recidivism. So let's look at the result. Yeah, this is what we want to have. Good. The only thing left to do is actually you need to copy and paste all these items to see a bunch to have a bunch of um, you know spaces. Looks good enough. You can work on the details. You can add some margin, for example. You can do all sorts of stuff. But that's fine, I think. Uh, let's go to the main part. Okay, now here, after, uh, well, after the left lease section, we want to add another div. And actually here I want to add a new column, in other words, with the width of 7. So you can have a totally 12 columns in Bootstrap. And here we get 7 of those 12 columns for this section. So basically more than half of the page, half of the screen we want to have for, for the main section. Now here add another div with some classes. First of all, I want to have BG white border in gray. Now inside this, I want to define another another row, and inside that again another column. Now, before proceeding any further, let me explain to you what I want to do here. Uh, let me get back to the Cura. Here we have. So, uh, the very first thing here we have at the main body, in the main body, is actually uh, uh, this box here you can post with that. And uh, the very first thing is this profile icon, and also there is a text field. And below that, we have three buttons. So basically, I want to define, uh, as you can see here, first of all, I want to define a column and I'll, a, a row. And then inside that row, I only need one column for the for the first for the profile icon and the text field. And I need another row for these three buttons. This div here basically covers only the first 
box so let's continue uh, when I want to have image here with the class of profile I'm gonna define profile and also I want to have rounded circle and as the source C I believe we already have a profile image so I'm gonna use it and the next thing we want to have the input field should be should be w-75 actually means that covers only 75 percent of the entire uh, screen width border gray text gray dark rounded peel bg light some padding at the beginning and here i want to align the text at the start at the start of the text field and i want to change the type to be a button and let's add some value to that it kind of works as a, a placeholder here do you want to ask or share something like this uh, input okay let's see the result if I refresh this is what we have it looks good already but we need to do some modification I believe yeah we actually need to define text gray dark uh, and also we need to define border gray we don't have such thing as border gray in uh, bootstrap so we need to define it ourselves go to main css in here i want to say border gray and here i want to say that i want to have border style as style a solid border color as we define it with the RGB 221 221 221 border width is better to be one pixels so let's see the result okay not bad something's wrong here yeah rgb save it refresh now it looks great it's pretty similar to what we have in Quora. the next thing is actually text gray dark what we have here to make sure text gray dark okay i'm going to say that color rgb under 17 17 series all okay well that's okay i think let's add these three buttons go to so here after this row we need to define another row i believe the 
class row. We want to make the text a little bit darker, so let's define another class for that. I want to say uh, darker, text gray, darker, with some padding at the bottom, some padding at the start, some padding at the end. To achieve the right value, you need to play with different values actually. Uh, the reason that I know already all of this is that I tried before different values to make it look nice, make it look pretty similar to what I want to have. So that's a game. You just need to try over and over. Thief class call center border end or dark so here basically uh, let me explain to you what I want to have here so basically in this row I want to have th three buttons so this is the first button uh, actually this is a column so we're using bootstrap grid system to separate all these three buttons and also I want to have the text of this button at the center with having the border at the end and also I defined a new class called hover dark and we'll define it in just a moment here let's add some icon with a SPG X. Uh, so uh, let, let's copy this from Google Material Icons. And what I want basically something like this question mark. So let's look at the Google Phones. See, question. Okay. This is what we have here, and it looks pretty similar. Uh, well, there's two options we have here, uh, downloading SVG or using PNG. Um, I prefer to go with PNG. I believe it's better. Also, you can use SVG. If you want to change the color, it's better to download the SVG and actually change the color the way I did for for the other icons but now let's go with png let me download it and grab it and put it in src folder so i'm call it question png and here I'm going to use source question with a width of 20 pixels, 25 pixels for height, and add some text to the button. ask let's look at the result oops here we need the result okay it looks pretty good I believe but as you can see already the advantage of having SVG is that you can change the color to be exactly like these icons let me make it a little bit more a little bit smaller. Okay, good. Now let's copy this and paste it to another times to have three buttons. I'm gonna call it answer, call it post, refresh. Now let's change the icons. So let's
let's search for pen. What we have here, it's good, I think. Download the PNG. Put it here. Rename it to a pen. Let's call it pen. Change it to pen. We need another icon. And also we need a pen. Let's use this one. Uh, let's call it post. Good. Refresh. And this is what we have. And I believe it already looks pretty good. Good enough. Now we need to activate the hover, actually, link or color. So let's go to the style file. And here I want to say hover dark and hover. Change the background color to RGB. We and also the border radius to 5 pixels. Refresh. And this is what we get. And I believe it's good. Okay, now it's time to work on the main body, including the post feed. So let's go to the code and here, let me close this after the first section we had in the middle section. Uh, let's another div. Uh, with the class of well actually this is my post let's call it post and here I want to use the flex I want to use flex box to align items let's close it and now inside this I want to have different parts the first thing is actually the post title let's create a new class post title and here let's add some padding at top and some padding at the start i've already tried different values for you know for padding for margin to make it look pretty similar to what I want. So don't worry about these things. If it doesn't look good, just try different numbers. So now we want another part here for actually as the post body. So let's call it post body. Some padding at top, some padding to start. I'm not sure about this one. Let's get rid of this. And good. Let's copy this, paste it twice. So I want to have this for post image and post footer. Now let's work on each of these sections or parts. So if you look at Quera, what we have here at the title, uh, so the very first thing is the profile image and then the name and a button for hiding the post. So here first let's create a div inside that with 
Flexbox. And inside this, I'm going to add an image with the class of post profile and with rounded circle class. And we're going to use the same profile image we have already. And another div with deflex again. And I want to align it in column direction. The first thing you want to have here is first name, last name. The class of bold phone size 6. It's going to be the first name and last name of the user who posted this content. And another spam with class want to make it text gray, darker. We already have this, I believe. If it's with the font size of 6, 6 means the smallest one actually. Title and position, something like this. Okay, let's look at the result. For sec. What we have here. So we need to define this post profile. Post profile with pics. Good. Fresh. Okay. This is what we have, and I believe it's good enough. Now let's add the close button. And I want to add it. Here after this, the class of some padding text gray darker use button here class of BTN and rounded. Circle, hover, dark, padding one. And inside this, I'm going to use Swiggy for the close icon. So let's search about it in Google Fonts. Say close. Yep. Paste it here. Let's modify it a little bit. Hey, 24. The height of 24 pixels, 24. Add view box for twenty four and fill it with current current. 
current color. Okay, let's see the result. We already use the fidges in some places. Let's use them. So here, forty-eight. Good. And to fix this, we need to use deflex here as well. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to say deflex refresh. By default, using flexbox actually, actually allowing different items in, in horizontal direction. But we have problem uh so fix this so here i believe i made a mistake here instead of to this i'm gonna get rid of this first of all i'm gonna add bg white to the post and then using border gray and some margin top save it refresh it okay by default deflex should push immediate children towards the side so i'm not sure why the close button is here it should be at the other side it should be here so let me try something to see what's going on uh if i want to see the background i would say but yeah here if I want to see the background, say warning, fresh. This is what we have. It's good. Deflex. Good enough. Let's say something. Uh, let's ju justify content. Justify. Content between fresh it. Okay, now it worked. By default, it should be just for content between. I'm not sure what is going on here, but in these cases, you just need to say just for content between, and you can see that these two immediate children are in opposite sides. I think it's enough for the title. Let's work on the post body. For the post body, first of all, we want to have a title, which is a link, and we need a uh, text and then an image. So here, I'm going to say div class let's say post title uh, actually we already used name post title but we've never used this here so let's just get rid of this post title which is not true actually it's not post title so here let's call it post title I'm gonna say make it bold and inside this, let's have a link. We take text decoration none and having the text in black, a black We put the title of the post here. OK. 
Okay, the next thing we want to have actually the main text, call it host text, and text of the post, just copy and paste it several times. Let's see the output. This is what we have. But I'm not sure why it's not black. Let's check it. Text black. I, I believe we don't have text black in Bootstrap. Let's define it ourselves. So here I'm going to say color black let's try it okay good now we have it in black now the next part is the image let's add it so go here post image it's pretty simple we won't have image here class of image float which is a actually part of bootstrap and it somehow handles images to be responsive good fresh I uh, believe we don't have this image. Let's use one of the images we already have. So let's use, for example, pick one. Fresh it, and now this is what we get. Okay, I believe it's good enough. The next part, adding the footer of the post here div class and here basically if you look at Quora we have a bunch of buttons here so I'm gonna use a btn group class in bootstrap to have multiple to have a group of buttons actually Rule group uh, is good, and here inside this, when I say button type button, the class of left button, I need to define this class later. Post button BG second call it none of these are related to bootstrap and we need to actually define all of these ourselves. Second color order zero this for bootstrap text black probably we need to define it so and now we want to have an image inside this so I need to download it but let's name it called with the width of 20 the class of some margin at the end and let's add a number here so let's download up image for this so this is good i think it's good enough drag and drop it here under src folder
rename it to op. Good, let's refresh the page. Close this. Okay, this is what we have. Let's modify, let's define all the classes we want. The very first thing we want to have is a post button. And actually, I need to have post button for the hover effect. So let's say hover. And here, I want to change the background color to be RGB. Two hundred thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Good. So if I refresh and see the result, you can see there is a, a little bit different, a little bit difference between you know these two colors. Okay, the effect is not big that much. So the other thing I want to have here is lift button class and here I want to make it I want to have border radius at the right side radius and I'm going to use variable here so let's say drop down radius i believe we already have this if i'm correct yeah we have already this one border actually for the left button we want to have border bottom left and border top left we want to have the same thing for the right button so let's tweak it a little bit right right good and also let's define black color black refresh okay this is what we get and I believe based on what I what I see here is good enough actually we can change the color of the up vote button if we want but it's up to you you can change it whenever you want not a big deal uh, actually the problem here is that it's an image and uh, it's not that much easy to change the color you can do it with CS with some CSS code but it's really difficult so the best way actually is either using SVG or somehow you change the color of the icon manually before adding that to the project using Photoshop or, or you know there are all sorts of tools to do something like this anyway it doesn't really matter you can change this later so let's add the next button which is pretty similar to this one so let me just copy this get rid of the number I don't need it and here we want to have down downward and this is the right button actually let's download it down name down good let's see the result 
Okay, this is what we get. And I believe it's pretty similar. It's not exactly like this. You need to really work hard on the details to make it similar. Okay. The next thing, the next button here, we have this share button and also the comment button. So let's add them to. It's pretty similar to this one, I believe. So let's move this. And let's say share, get rid of this. And here, K. Okay. I want to have post button, I want to have BG second color. It's good, I believe. I want to have rounded circle here text black and order zero some padding is good i believe there is no need to have this okay i want to have the same thing for the comment button comment now let's download the icons so let's say share or maybe refresh. Yeah, it's better. PNG and the other thing, comment. Uh, well, this is a good one. Drag and drop here. Comment name share. Now look at the output. This is what we get. We need a little bit of space between the buttons so uh, well actually I believe the problem is that we don't want to have the, these two buttons in the group buttons so I want to have them after this so here if I refresh this is what we get and I believe yeah it's not bad that much and you need to work on the details for this so let's some add some padding at the button the bot Some padding at the start. Good. But I actually leave it for you to do it. Uh, it's up to you to change the color of these buttons to make it look like similar. Uh, okay, I believe it's good enough. Just It's just a demo to show what you can do with Bootstrap and a little bit CSS. Of course, achieving this template takes you know weeks and months for core i believe it took a few years to achieve this style and it's really huge but as a tutorial i believe that's enough now the next thing i want to work on is this list at the right side and uh, I don't care about this little box here because it's not really a big part of Quora itself. It's just a recommendation list. Uh, some may see this, some may not. So it doesn't matter. But the most important list here 
in this page this uh, spaces to follow so uh, and it's a really pretty simple list and you can implement it using bootstrap very fast okay and I want to put it here after this we have left list we have the main column and now we want to have the right list actually so I'm gonna say column we want to use your list list group and add on items one by one the flex justify content between the first thing I want to have here is my image so inside this I'm gonna say source C pick one the rate of too many and with the height of class of rounded good the other thing we want here with some padding and I want to have a little bit of space between uh, I actually I want to decrease the space between two rows two lines of you know text W bold call it advanced AI something like that uh, something happened Oops. okay Class text secondary I'm not sure if you define text secondary you should check that let's type let's advance Space for advances in AI science and um, etc. Okay, I believe it's good enough. Let's refresh it. Okay, this is what we have. Okay, it's good enough, I think. I believe it's better to make it a little bit smaller so I want to use FS6 here and here okay, it didn't change so I'm going to use small tag okay now it's better I think yeah let's do the same thing for this okay now it's better I think 
the only thing left to do is just copy and paste this item a few times to see how it looks okay I think it's good it, it looks good enough okay I believe that's enough for this tutorial because you know if you want to make it really perfect really similar it's gonna take a lot of time so that's enough for this tutorial and I hope you learned the basics and enjoyed this tutorial have a good time